We traveled to SoFab Entertainment in Hollywood to meet with Trev Beats. He has played and recorded with such famous artists as Mariah Carey, Lionel Richie, Dr. Dre, Stevie Wonder, Paris Hilton, Jessica Simpson, and many others. Here, let's take a listen and learn some of the techniques of this talented drummer. Here are some patterns that have been used in your favorite hip hop songs. Still Dre, Dr. Dre. Need an apple bomb, a tribe called Quest. Drop it like it's hot. Snoop Dogg featuring Pharrell. The Whisper Song, Yin Yang Twins. We're using live drums here and, and acoustic drums and rap and hip hop often has um, electronic elements. I want to uh, demonstrate one thing that can help you as far as simulating the sound from some of the records you hear that might be electronic. And that's usually a variation in snare sounds. And on records, there are a lot of claps integrated with the snare. So what I like to do is do a clap snare. And that's you, you, you do that by doing this, taking your regular rim shot side stick and while your hand is touching the snare drum you're implementing your right hand on the snare drum head as well while the head is muffled like that so you can hear the difference now my hand is on the head when you put them both together you get this One other thing is the what I like to call extreme rim shot. A regular rim shot is this. But when you're trying to achieve some of the older sounding snare drums on some of the old hip hop records, especially the James Brown records, I like to play the rim shot a lot farther back on the snare head. So as opposed to playing this, I'll just play it back here. So it provides a much higher pitch rim shot like this. If you notice, I'm not playing the snare and the hi-hat exactly on the same eighth note. They're a little bit off, and that's called a flam. And as you know, a flam is when you slightly hit one stick before you hit the other. So the stroke comes down before the other by like a millisecond. That's a flam. So I'm implementing the flam and the clap snare. And between the hi-hat and snare, when we play pretty much any regular hip-hop two and four. Now I'll just go 
go back and forth showing you the difference between straight eighth notes and then with the clamming on it. Here's straight. Now here's clam. Those things can help translate what you hear on a lot of hip-hop records, which is programmed drums. Those, can, those tools can help you translate that onto your acoustic kit when you try to implement and rehearse some of these hip-hop patterns. 